Hi, this is CAD CAM Lessons channel, and in this video I will show you how to prepare a 3D print based on a 3D model created in FreeCAD. If you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, please subscribe, and if you like my tutorials and would like to thank me for my work, you can support this channel. You can find the link in the description of the video. Recently there was a question about whether FreeCAD is suitable as a software for 3D printers. FreeCAD itself cannot operate 3D printers because it is a tool for creating 3D models. However, we can use the 3D models created in FreeCAD for 3D printing. FreeCAD is a 3D CAD system, which means it is software designed for modeling parts with regular shapes. If you want to design more organic shapes such as figurines or other irregular shapes, you won't be able to do it in FreeCAD. But if you want to design machine parts or workshop aids, you can do it in FreeCAD. The 3D models you create in FreeCAD can be used for 3D printing. So, in FreeCAD we create 3D models, and then we convert that 3D model created in FreeCAD into a format supported by the printer software. In one of the previous videos, I showed some basic operations for creating 3D solids in FreeCAD. I will include a link to that video in the description below this video. Now, I will show you how to prepare a 3D print based on this model. We have a 3D model created in FreeCAD here, and we need to export that model to a format supported by the slicer, which is the software we use to prepare the file for the 3D printer. In this video, I will use the Bamboo Studio slicer and export this model to the step format, which is supported by Bamboo Studio, and is a format in which we can export arcs or circles with quite a lot of accuracy. To export the 3D model created in FreeCAD to the step format, we select what we want to export and choose export from the file menu. Then we specify the location and file name, and here we select the file extension. The step format is one of the supported formats, but if for example your slicer does not support the step format, you can save the model in STL format, which is also widely used in 3D printing. I chose the step format, specified the name, selected the location, and clicked save. As for the export parameters, you can uncheck all options. Here, we select the type of step file. We can choose AP203, click OK, and this model has already been exported to the step format. Now I will open Bamboo Studio and import this model into Bamboo Studio. Based on this model, we will prepare the file for the 3D printer. We add a new file, select the file we created in FreeCAD, and click Open. Here I click OK. The model has been imported. Based on this model, we can prepare a 3D print. But before we do that, I will scale down this model a bit, so that the print takes a little less time. I select the scaling option and set the scale to 50%, meaning we will reduce the size of this model. Ok, we have something like this, and now I will prepare the print using the default profiles available in Bamboo Studio. I choose the grey colour, select generic PETG, OK, and here I also select the system settings available in Bamboo Studio. I will also change the colour of this model so that it prints using this filament. I go to the Objects tab, right click and select Change Filament. I select this filament to use it and use the parameters that are saved by default in Bamboo Studio. So, I am not changing anything using the default parameters. And now I am transferring this program to the 3D printer. Here I need to use a memory card, so I choose Export Plate Sliced File to save this file on the memory card and perform the print on the 3D printer from the memory card. Now let's go to the Preview tab and prepare the program for the printer. We have a preview of this model and how it will be printed. The total print time is 25 minutes, and now, by clicking this button, we can save the program to the memory card. From the memory card, we can start printing on the 3D printer. On bamboo printers, files can be sent via Wi-Fi, but I am using the memory card, so I will use this option. Now let's go to the printer and see how this print looks, 
and in a moment we will move on to the printer operation, you'll see a sped up version of how this print looked on the 3D printer. And here is the printed part. This part is small. I used extra draft printing parameters, so these are parameters intended for fast printing, not necessarily precise, and we also have a quite large layer height here. However, the print looks quite good, and the default parameters that are available in the printing profiles in Bamboo Studio can be good starting parameters, and even often you can simply use these parameters, and you will get quite correct 3D prints. I will end at this point. In a moment you will see how this part was printed. Thank you for watching, and please subscribe to this channel.